Hello and welcome to another housing ideas and tips video with Rosa. In this video I'm going to just give you some general tips on how you can set up a enchanting and magic lab. So as you can see we're practicing magic right now and what my character is. So for a magic an enchanting lab you want to get things that would be good and might seem to be magical so as you can see with mine I've kind of done that so let's get started and I'll show you everything that I used which might help you to set up your own enchanting and magic lab. So this corner here is more for soul gem, studying soul gems and enchanting. So I just put the enchanting table here, which is interactable and usable. And as you know, it's just from Master Rit Vendor. So this corner here is more for studying soul gems and the like. So I've put one of these enchanting achievement items there just the enchanting gem which as I said is a achievement item from enchanting which you can purchase from any enchanting vendor this little enchanting gem is also as you can see it's on this enchanting table but I figured it would be good to have extra just to fill up some bench space there this little soul gem here is the lesser soul gem empty. This one I got from pickpocketing. You can just buy them from guild stores if you don't want to waste time pickpocketing. And this one here is a soul gem stand. It's an achievement item. I think it's a global achievement item. Same with this soul gem case, which I have down there in that crate, which is just the soul gem crate. I figured it would be good to add those in as this is the soul gem studying corner would be good to have some extras there and this one is a the apparatus gem calipers I think it's a master writ item but I'm not sure on that that one as well is on this enchanting station as you can see I think it helps in with enchanting items so I just put an extra one there because it might help with soul gem extraction or whatever there so yeah that's the soul gem and enchanting corner here um, this chest is just one of those storage chests. I figured it would be better to use one of those storage chests rather than a trunk because a trunk would take up one of your normal furnishing slots. As you can see it's at 600. If I take that away it's at 599. 
Whereas these storage chests take up the collectible furnishing slots, which is part of the trophy dungeon busts and trophy heads. So to save on slots with your normal furnishing slots, just use these storage chests. I just added that there because it might be some special magic devices or whatever locked in there. And here I just added an orcish bookcase, just the peaked one, which is a craft craftable in game. And on these shelves I put a sky shard. Which I don't have on because if you have it on it on the shelf it just looks weird all lit up like that but I figured that would be perfect to put in a magic lab because he might be studying the sky shard and here I've put a book it's just the guild memo on soul trapping which is from one of the Mage Guild book packs and because this is a soul gem studying corner I thought it would be good to have that in as he'll be studying soul gems as he's part of the Mages Guild and they frown heavily on soul trapping people and they rather use animal souls for that thing. So this Telvani device I figured it would also be perfect for a magic lab as the Telvani do study a lot of magic as we know. So that was from the Morrowind achievement vendor not sure what it is or what it does but it's perfect for any magic and enchanting lab that you want to set up. Uh, this rock here I just put that in because it has a Daedric symbol on it and you never know it could have had magic in it or something like that and could be studying what that symbol might mean or it might be part of a magic rune or something. An oblivion stone which is achievement furnishing item. And next to it I've put the depleted sigil stone which is magically powered to open an oblivion gate as you can read there. So yeah it's magic has been depleted but my character might be studying how to get it to work again. Uh, I forgot to mention it's an achievement item as well and next to it I put a book which is also from one of the Mage Guild book packs on liminal bridges. When I got that book pack I read each of them to work out what I'd put and use in my house and when I was reading this one it talks about uh, sigil stones and oblivion portals which I thought would be perfect to put next to the depleted sigil stone as my character would be studying it and how to get it to work again. Underneath it I just put one of those clockwork just a, it's a flask stand I figured it would be good to have that there 
as it would sit perfectly in there if it wasn't moving. And here I got a veiled crystal which is also an achievement item which I have turned off otherwise it's too bright in here and I have enough light in here already so I just put that there because it's a magic crystal and you'd be studying how it lights up and works and this item here is a sorry it's a energetic anima core which is from clockwork city achievement vendor as it says it contains a single overcharged soul gem so i assume it's used as like a battery to power factotums or something so I just added that there because it's a weird magical device perfect for any magic lab I thought so on the wall here I've put one of the uh, it's a tile so yeah I've got two I got a ritual tile uh, over here on that wall and that tower tile you saw before I've just put that one here because it's like a magic tile so my characters spelled it to stop intruders assassins or thieves from coming in and vampire hunters especially vampire hunters so if any of those step on it they'll either be trapped killed instantly mainly trapped because as this is for vampires they want to feed always looking for people to feed off so I've put these ones on the wall in here because they haven't been spelled yet to put around the house to stop intruders. Um, at the entrance of this house and at the back I've also got some more of these but this tile here is a was a past luxury vendor item here we go so alien constellation Stelly the mage they were with the alien themed luxury vendor items a while ago I also have another mage I think it's at the entrance of my house and the warrior I have at the back of my house so the warrior and the mage were those luxury items whereas the ritual and the tower were are both achievement furnishings so don't get confused by that so yeah I put those on the wall because they they fit perfect in here and as I said before my, they haven't been magically spelled yet for that purpose so this little little guy here well little compared to my high elf he is one of the cowering statues sorry statue terrified ebony if you've done that mine quest in Morrowind chapter where there's a gas that's 
been made that turns people into ebony. I think once you complete that quest you can purchase these achievement items but I'm not sure on that. I figured it would be perfect to have this in a magic lab because in that quest the people were transformed into ebony through that gas and you might be trying to reverse that gas and turn them back into flesh and blood so I've at least that's the way I see it so my character is trying to reverse that process and turn them back into people uh, there's also a stone statue version you can get which is also an achievement item from another achievement vendor in the game if you don't want to spend 50k because this one was 50k whereas the stone statue ones are I think they're 10k they're a lot cheaper so if you want to add that in I just thought that would be a good little thing to put in a magic lab and these two items here is the blessing stone got the blessing stone which if you've done Morrowind you'll know that the blessing stones is where Vivek puts a tiny little bit of his magic essence in to help people work in his city and the blessing stone device is what you put the blessing stone in I thought it would be good to put those in a magic lab because you might be trying to do the same as Vivek and put your own magic essence in the stone or just studying how they work or whatever both of these items are achievement items from the Morrowind achievement vendor in Vivek City so if you want to add those in you can uh, this crystal here is one of the blue crystal clusters a pass luxury vendor item I just added that in because I had some empty space here but also because it is a glowing crystal and you might study it or use use it in enchanting by breaking off pieces or whatever you don't really need to explain all these things in here because it's a magic lab and you can really add anything in a magic lab this banner here is just the Mages Guild banner from the Mages Guild achievement vendor. I have a few of them around my house because my character is in the Mages Guild and I like these banners because they're like a light blue and I kind of have a light blue theme going on. So yeah, you can really put anything in a magic lab. Uh, there's some things I haven't put in it that are out around my house. Like this stone, floating fire stone here. It's the replica stone. It's also an achievement item from Vivek City in the Morrowind chapter so yeah Morrowind does have a lot of cool magic items that you can get uh, the Vivek City achievement vendor um, if you want to add a pet in your lab as well there's really any pets you can add um, 
I have this Bankin uh, downstairs, but you can add him in your magic lab anywhere if you want to. Uh, there's plenty of other pets you can use. Uh, if you have the Bone Dragon pet and you want to do like a Necromancer type magic lab. Um, if you want to do that, just add like dark lights and stuff such as the Lanterns of Anguish which is an achievement item just to make it look dark and evil. Uh, there's also plenty of other like skulls, bones and other necromancer type stuff that you can use. Just look around in game and you'll find stuff like that if you want to do a necromancer type lab. And there's also plenty of other pets that I don't have that you can put in your um, enchanting and magic lab. I don't really have much magical creatures. Uh, you could probably add that if you have that from way back loyalty reward. Uh, you could probably add a Nixian or anything else. But yeah, I don't have many magic type creatures to put in here besides that scamp. But he's, as I said before, I got him downstairs. So yeah, uh, there's plenty of things you'll find in game that I haven't added into here which might fit in your magic lab so just look around at things and you will find how you can make your own magic lab so as always if you have any questions ask those below if i missed anything or you don't understand something that I talked about just put that in the comments below thank you for watching